Everything in the universe rapidly erupted from a small, hot, dense state roughly 13.7 billion years ago. And no one's ever found any data to contradict the Big Bang. All of the matter in the universe was condensed into an infinitely dense hot point of dust. Okay, so how long, let me ask you this, how long would it take a piece of dust to explode and then morph into a large rock as big as a boulder? Is that physically possible? Is it physically possible for a tiny piece of dust, think of how huge of a lie this is, a tiny piece of dust to explode and then morph into rocks as large as the planets and as Earth? What a humongous lie. Let me ask you this, could you take a piece of dust and convert it to water? Let's really think about this. Let's break down the Big Bang Theory. They claim that a piece of dust, an infinitely dense hot point, exploded. Well, number one, if you have something exploding, it's only going to release smaller pieces of what exploded. It's not going to release larger pieces and create things. It's only going to destroy. But not only that, they believe and they will assert that this piece of dust somehow created oceans, water, all of the elements on the periodic table. It's just ludicrous. It is false. It's not true. They think that gold and silver, diamonds, all came from a speck of dust that exploded. Some gigantic lies here. Let me ask you, could a piece of dust start a fire? I can hardly start a fire in the woods with some thick logs. You have to have some, some knowledge as to how to start a fire, and it takes energy to be able to start that fire. Let me ask you, could dust, an infinitely dense hot point, explode and create nuclear fusion? Is that physically possible? It is not possible. Let me tell you, the Big Bang never happened. And no one's ever found any data to contradict the Big Bang. There's no indication that any intelligent agent even could have been involved in any of this. And remember that the sacred fables don't have a lot of credibility being absolutely wrong about absolutely everything they claim that can be tested. Even if the Big Bang happened, that would still mean that there's a creator because how could you take an explosion of nothingness and create something so magnificent out of it, such as stars, planets, galaxies, oceans? How is that physically possible? The Big Bang, even if it did happen, would prove that there is a God, regardless. So even if atheists are correct about the Big Bang, they're still wrong. Even if they're correct that the Big Bang happened, they're still wrong. Are you guys following me so far? It's surprising to me that you, Matt Powell, would dedicate your life to lies with a belief system that is entirely fraudulent, such that you could hold up a compilation of lies and call that truth, and dismiss every actual factual truth as though they were lies. Before the Big Bang, there was nothing, literally nothing. And then something happened, triggering the most colossal explosion in history. In a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a second, the universe grew from the size of that tiny point to something billions of miles across. This colossal blast created everything, all the matter we see in the universe today. Do you really believe that something came from nothing? Yes. We didn't come from nothing, and no scientist believes that we ever came from absolutely nothing. Do you really believe that something came from nothing? Yes. The Big Bang is not something from nothing. Before the Big Bang, there was nothing, literally nothing. Matter, energy, universal forces, natural laws, and even empty space and time began at that point. Is it physically possible for a tiny piece of dust, think of how huge of a lie this is, a tiny piece of dust to explode and then morph into rocks as large as the planets and as Earth? What a humongous lie. Let me ask you this, could you take a piece of dust and convert it to water? No one's ever found any data to contradict the Big Bang. 